Oh my gosh. It's never good Good to start the vlog after you drink an orange drink. Drink these sugar-free drinks in the morning. On the way today, I had orange. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is a holiday in Canada. It's a holiday, and last night was so much fun. I wish I had a video of it. What happened last night, Sophie? I got a candle. You got a candle. Yeah, so Sophie got a candle at the mall. So basically, Gabby sets an alarm every day from Thursday till Sunday. No, Thursday till... Thursday till Thursday? Thursday till what? What do you set an alarm for? Sunday till Thursday. Sunday till Thursday because they read every night at 8.30 p.m. So they read every single school night, basically. And last night, Gabby went upstairs to read and Sophie came to me and she said, Mom, do we have to read today? Which sometimes she does, but they always have to read. I don't know why she asks me. And I said, no, you don't have to read tonight. And she was shook, like, what? Why? And then I broke it to them. It's a holiday today and they didn't know. And they were so excited. They were so excited. All right, you guys. So Sam and I are headed out to get more crickets, and the girls are staying home. <laughs> oh, man, the troubles we've had with this dog, you guys. We tried the vibration collar. This is not a shock collar. Anybody who says it's a shock collar, you're mistaken. It's a. It makes a beeping sound or a vibration. Hurry, I She's heavy. I know. Drop her. <laughs> um. So one thing Daisy does is she sits on your chest with her butt. And just she, makes you not able to breathe. She has no sense of anything. Like, things are so difficult for her. I swear to God, it's so difficult to train a deaf dog. I feel like even if you use a vibration collar, your dog also responds to like other cues besides just the vibration. So we've been practicing. I don't think it's gonna work. I think I'm gonna have to teach her. I think we're gonna have to teach her recall on the leash getting her to check in constantly. I've been participating in a couple of websites that, that train deaf dogs and reading up on it. And so I tried the shock collar again. We've not had really good success. And the problem is this. The problem is that if anybody else is around, she does not understand where the vibrate, who's calling her with the vibration. So say Sam and I are both in the living room and I push the button to, to get her to come to me and that she already has been, We've already showed her how to come to, like she understands when I push the button and the button goes off that she should come to me. So she gets that, but she doesn't get, who the heck pushed the button? Where should I go? So she'll stand there at somebody completely with no button in their hand, no, she'll just stand there staring at them, wagging her tail, so excited to get a treat because she came to them, but that's not the person with the, with the button. So I can see how outside, it will cause a problem because if there are a lot of people around and I push the button, she's gonna run to the first person that she sees and be really excited about it. Or if she doesn't see somebody right at that moment, she's gonna go running and looking for somebody. So there's like a disconnect there. It doesn't make sense. So I have another plan. I don't think that thing's gonna really be beneficial to us. It's a cute little training tool in terms of the fact that it gets her attention. But so does us slamming on the on the ground with her foot gets her attention. It's gonna have to be, I have to teach her to check in every few minutes so that we can use our signs to tell her what we need her to do. That's gonna have to be it. So, good morning and welcome to today's video. Sam, how are you today? Did you sleep well? Were you excited that we pulled one over on the girls last night and Gabby was upstairs reading and I had to tell her it was a holiday? And she's like, it's a holiday! I'm like, didn't you know it was a holiday? She's like, no, I did not know. So she dropped her book and came right back downstairs and yeah, it was fun, it was funny. I wish I had a video of it. Anyways, welcome to today. We're headed to the cricket store to get crickets. Uh, our cricket eats about 150 crickets a week so far and she's doing really well. She's eating your salad. So welcome to today. I'm excited. Every day is a blessing. Every day holds well, the possibility of a miracle, you guys. So go out there and find your miracle for each day. I'm in a new pet store. This is neat. Oh, they have ferrets. I want a ferret. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. What are you? You're so cute. Aww, I love him. Here, creature center.
They have everything in this store. Years ago, I don't know if you guys can see it, but years ago my kids had this horse. Had a very similar radio flyer horse. They loved it. Honestly never thought I'd be the kind of girl to be out there buying crickets. But I'm the kind of girl out there every week buying crickets. And they have to count them. So like in this bag is 200 crickets and they're medium. 200 of them. And she'll go through that in a week. She'll go through that in a whole week and Sophie and I have to deal with them. But it's actually been really fun. So anyway, that uh, that lizard type thing that I showed you guys is a anu or a agu or something, an agu. I can't remember what she said it was. And she said that it's not for sale. It's about three years old and that they use it in like education stuff. That pet store does education things for like schools and stuff. And it eats full-sized rats. Wait till you see the thing that we saw, I saw there. I asked her how much it was and if it was for sale, not because I ever would buy it. Because that's a bit scary for me. It was scary looking, but it was super cool. Right, so we're here, and I don't see any of my children. I'm pretty sure Gabby went that way. Oh, there's Finn. Finn's right there. We're actually late for lessons. We're having lessons with Fiona today. And there were some meltdowns. And there was some needing to eat, and there was some needing to be grounded from phones. Gabby went for a walk. Oh, I see her. I see her. He's like, no, I don't want to go. The bat. Hurry up! You got to get in there quick, fast as can be. So it's true. There was some grounding of phones. Poor Sam. No, just joking. <laughs> just joking. Because it was a holiday. Because it was a holiday, we stayed awake three nights in a row. And I think that was just one night too many. Where's your coat? In the barn. I didn't have enough time to put it on because you were rushing me. Yeah, and that's not even the one that got grounded. Grouchy, grouchy. Oh, we got to cut his thing off the back of his blanket. Because that is a tripping hazard if I ever saw one. I don't know why. But Finn looks way cuter than normal. And I also have this strange urge now to clean every horse's eyes that I meet after having Penny. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. So Fiona just arrived and we're not quite ready yet. I don't know if you guys can actually fully see how big this boy is. Like he is a big boy. Look at the muscles on him though. Holy heck Finn, you be flexing. He's a big boy, way bigger than the Pasofino horses. He is like a little mini. He's still a pony, he's 14 months. I know, I know, he's big. He's big, big, big boy. Uh, you should be riding him in Chino's in, in Finn's saddle, to be honest. So, obviously Chino blew through one of his blankets already. The back end is ripped off, we can still use it. We will still use it. But yeah, like how long did that last? A week? Maybe two weeks. And we didn't even use it for the first week. You know what Finn did? So put it here. I started walking out to him and he went. Good. All right, it is spring and the horses are sporting some nice scratches from the trees. But Gabby is going to show us how nicely her boy. Wait, it's because I'm here and he thinks I have treats. This is how nicely her boy bridles such a good boy he also puts his head down to find the bit he has come a long way when we first put in the bridle like when i first got him we would he would have his head yeah he would be okay but his head would be higher did he like sometimes kick and out then, too no and then he would turn fully around in the cross ties but now he just stands and moves his head but stands yeah he he is such a good boy like this horse is the most innocent horse that we've ever owned like he's just been so cared for so loved so treated kindly and then moving to a new home was such a shock to his system so he moved so he normally went to florida for the whole winter yeah since he was like a baby probably and then he didn't go and then he moved to a new place yeah and then the next day after he moved, people came, like we came and rode him 
And then we brought him to the place that same night. Yeah, so like he moved, he moved a bunch of times, all in a short amount of time, and then ended up with us. And then, two times and what? Yeah. And he's been only, uh, only ever been just gracious and, he's only ever been just gracious and wonderful. All right, oh we're God, ready. We made it. We made it before Fiona. Yeah, I need to get in the arena before, before Fiona. And get up and get, get warming up. No, because if there's a scary stroller behind him, which will still probably be scary. Yeah, there's going to definitely um, be a scary stroller. He might like. Uh-oh. Gabby, hurry, go. It's okay. We got it. Back up. Come here. Come on. Belly back and a stall, kind of. Oh, never mind. See, either our front goes in the stall or like that. That's what happens when you buy yourself a giant horse. Or you buy a huge wide car. All right. Fabulous lesson. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing that you rode all winter yet, but you're back in lessons and your legs are killing you. Jumps. I know, yeah, you did us. So amazing, Sophie. So proud of you. Like, you just jumped right back into where you were. I was really scared to get into the jumps. Well, I never really liked him during the jumps because Finn would be going slow and then he would go like zoom right before the jump. Well, you're doing awesome. Doing okay. awesome. Okay, hurry up. Let's get going. Uh, good lesson, Gabby? Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. You guys looked so yeah, pretty. I already touched the poles. Oh. Ooh. White and then the red. The red is not the diamond. Don't touch the pole, stinky. He's kind of stinky. You're kind of stinky from sweating. I'm so glad to be back in business, you guys. So, 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 so glad. Excited to have weekly lessons again. We'll be seeing Brandon this week. We'll be seeing our new farrier again this week. He, it's been, knock on wood, it's been, it's getting good again. It's really getting good again. And for all you guys who are not getting good again, just know that it is going to get good again. And I know that some of you guys who are in summer right now are just starting to go back into COVID time and it's not going to be good again for a while. The dream for all of us is that eventually enough people get vaccinated and we're free of the COVID, of the COVID situation altogether. I know. It's good. It's good to be. it's not good. It is good for you, Sophie. It's so good for you. I made some little pita squares. I made those ones. These are the first ones that I made. They didn't turn out yeah, as good. She always burns yeah, everything. Yeah, I burn everything, you guys. But they're still good. With but these ones turned out good, but I don't have any left to make more. So I also made a, some, I, some spinach dip. I made spinach dip. Gabby is starving. She can hardly even handle it. I wanted it to cook a little bit longer and get more brown on the top. But Gabby can't wait. She's starving. I can't wait either. But I made that, you guys. It might not look that good, but I made it. I'm the kind of girl that it takes a lot for me to cook because cooking means standing or sitting or spending time in one spot and I need to be moving all the time. So whenever I make something, I'm always super impressed with myself. Hopefully Sam loves it. Let's see. Don't judge me. Don't judge her. <laughs> Don't judge her. Don't you know that you're beautiful?